On your side with tonight's cover story, death and tragedy. Unfortunately, it happens every day. But tonight, we're looking specifically at car crashes in the United States. According to the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, there are nearly 20,000 crashes every day across the nation. About 120 of those are deadly. In a year span, that number comes out to roughly 43,000 lives lost. Many of those, of course, happening right here in our area. You may remember it was back in September. A mother and her son were killed in Hickory after their vehicle was struck during a police chase. Both of them died in that crash. Police were initially chasing a suspect on a motorcycle, and it was during that chase that an officer hit a minivan, killing Cynthia Fox and her son, Michael. Tonight, a story of incredible forgiveness and compassion. Three years ago, 76-year-old Rosie Minor died in a car crash in Atlanta. The driver who hit her was charged with a homicide. Rosie's family initially wanted vengeance, but as reporter Andy Periotti discovered, they did the unexpected instead. <laughs> For Stacy Green, the gospel recharges her soul. From as early as I can remember, we grew up in church. The person who took her each Sunday, Rosie Minor, an ordained minister, a youth pastor, and a successful businesswoman once featured in Ebony magazine. But for Stacy, she was just the mom. Do a twirl. Oh my, I can't, I can't twirl. Oh, my mother was such a beautiful woman. She loved everything and everybody. On November 20th, 2020, northwest side of the intersection, Rosie died in a car crash in DeKalb County, Georgia. Stay with me, Mom. Okay, stay on their way. Stay with us. Hit by a driver allegedly on their phone, going 73 miles per hour nearly twice the speed limit. Feel my hand. You're not alone, okay? This is Officer Hunt, the Camp County Police Department. The person who hit Rosie, Nakia Cherry, charged with vehicular homicide. I was consumed with anger. I wanted her to go to jail. I wanted them to pick her up. I was, I was just, not in a good place. Shattered with grief, Stacy fell into depression, lost her job. Are they okay? <laughs> and she was determined to see Nikia pay for killing her mother. How do you forgive the person that killed your mom? Your best friend. How do you do it? Three years later, she would face her mother's alleged killer. And this DeKalb County courtroom, there to settle a civil lawsuit against Nakia's car insurance company. At the end of the trial, attorneys played a recording of Rosie's voice, part of a prayer line she took part in every day, recorded just hours before she died. John in 116 said, from the fullness of his grace, we have all received one blessing after another. So we have every reason in the world to be thankful every day. At that moment, Stacy knew what needed to be done. In the hallway outside the courtroom, she approached Nakia. So I said, I need you to know, I need you to know, I forgive you. I need you to know, I forgive you. A moment that took Nakia by surprise. She came up to me and she hugged me and she said she was gonna forgive me. For her to do that, it changed me in so many ways. How bad did you need to hear I really that? need to hear that. I still cannot forgive myself for what happened. And, um, <laughs> For her to do that, that was a really big change for me. Why was it important for you mm -hmm. to forgive her? My mom was already gone. My mom's already dead. And I was walking around dead. So in order to give myself back life, I had to forgive her. It doesn't make sense to have two dead people. Stacy's compassion could have ended right there, left the courtroom and never spoke to Nikia again. Instead, she says she did something her mother would have done. After the accident, life got tough for Nikia and her four children. She lost her home, 
job, and car. But when Stacy heard about it, she took action, helping her with money, transportation, and even temporary housing. And Nakia has joined their church, the same sanctuary where Rosie worshiped. I talk to her a lot every day. She helps me with my kids when I needed food. Stacy was there. She calls, she checks on me every day. Um, I don't really have that for many people. She's like a big sister, like a, a god mom. My mom would be doing the same exact thing had she been alive today. She'd forgive. She would forgive. She would help her. My mother wouldn't want her to be down on her luck. If a lot of people forgave, maybe this world would be a little different. A lot more Stacy's. A lot more Stacy's. <laughs> yeah, man, it, it, the world would be so totally different because she helped me. I love Miss Stacy. That was Andy Pirotti reporting for us tonight. Rosie's family asked the solicitor's office to show Nakia Cherry leniency. A judge ultimately sentenced her to two years probation, 240 hours of community service, among other penalties, but no jail time. Cherry says that she plans to get baptized in the same church where Rosie once worshipped. Tell us your thoughts about this surprise act of compassion. Do you agree? What would you have done? You can connect with us on Instagram and Twitter using the hashtag OYSTonight or scan that QR code right there on your screen. So the New Year's just a few days away.